This is a project my daughter Teresa worked out and it makes a great lampshade cover. This one is already smooth, but if you have one that has pleats on it or old fabric, you can carefully rip it off to get a smooth shape. We're going to start at least a half an inch from the edge of the paper. And I'm using paper so you can see it better than you could if I did it directly on the wrong side of fabric. When I'm making one, usually I make my pattern right on the fabric. But we are finding the seam line and marking about an inch out on that side and an inch out on that side. And we have our seam marked and you roll the lampshade and you're marking the top and the bottom of the lampshade as you go. And I'm using a pencil. You have to keep it from shifting when you're doing it, but we're just rolling the lampshade, rolling, rolling, marking, marking. These are so simple to make and they make uh, a room look very custom because you can absolutely match what you already have in the room. The, the quilt, the curtains, just anything that's in there. Throw pillows. And see, I, I just keep rolling. Oops, got to go back and get that line some more. I keep rolling and marking, rolling and marking until I get to the seam line again. And then I'm going to make an inch mark on the outside of that side and an inch mark out from here. And I can remove the lampshade. And where I have my start and finish, I've marked the inch out, and I'm going to join those lines. So I'm joining them. And then I'm going to mark it one quarter inch past the marked seam line, and that gives us um, a seam for our cover. So I'm marking it and then marking out quarter inch. And if I did this on the fabric, I would go ahead and just cut that piece of fabric out. exactly like my pattern. I usually don't make a paper pattern, like I said, because it's so easy to do it, to mark it on the wrong side of the fabric. When you have your pattern cut out, you would add any trim that you're going to add to the top and the bottom. Now, on this cover, I did piping, so I added it right to the edge, and then when I turned it over, it was still the same size. On this one, I did bias tape, so when I put the tape on, it still made the top and bottom the same size. If I was putting other types of trim on, I would make sure that it extended a little bit past the raw edge of the fabric. Once your trim's on, then you're simply quarter inch seaming your lampshade cover. and putting it over the lampshade. And ta-da! Custom lampshade. This I wanted to match with the curtains, but the curtains were a directional print. So I made panels so that it would still go in the right direction because if on a directional print I went around like this, the pattern would start sloping and it wouldn't look nice. So to make the panels in the lampshade cover, you would take your, you would go ahead and make a pa paper pattern and you would cut it out without the seam allowances because on, as you saw the other time we added the quarter inch seam allowances 
and say I wanted four panels. I would get this just lined up to be in half, line it up again in half, and this would be the, the finished size of my panels. So I would lay it on yet another piece of paper, lay it down, mark the seam lines, and add seam allowance. So then of this, I would cut out four pieces and join them together. And then when I had three of the seams joined, I'd put my trim on and join the final seam. And you would have panels in your, in your lampshade.